In today's video, we're opening the Egyptian God Battle Pack, and then we're doing it. All right, guys, today we have 11 blister packs of Battle Pack War of the Giants, which include not one, but two packs. So we have 22 packs to be open. Once we're done with that, we're gonna build a deck out of these and we're gonna dual rhyme style. We did this with Retro Pack 1 very recently. You guys love the video. Go check it out if you maybe missed it. But for everybody that saw it, it seems like you guys loved it. So we're gonna try it again with another set that's actually made to be opened and then dueled with battle pack. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this legendary blister. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure if somebody like just closed it back up, but inside there should be a metal Raiders pack. I mean, I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure. You know what? Let's just, let's figure this out. Let's open it up. Maybe it's just a booster pack. Um, I'm not sure what was going on with that. Let's see if it looks legit. 20, 5th anniversary metal raiders pack yeah okay so that looks that looks fine so we'll be giving away this metal raiders pack all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you think about this kind of video do you want to see more where we open packs build decks and duel on master duel and what other sets should we do it with should we do it with more like crazy sets or should we do like more battle pack because i think this could be like some legitimate decks unlike last time which was pretty weird okay we've talked enough let's get to it we have a lot of videos to deal with today or not not deal with but like to go back and forth you know rhyme's gonna have his videos we're gonna be mixing a lot of videos together today because there are 40 something packs to be open so let's get to it let's see what's inside zero gravity already starting off with better traps than we had last time if you guys remember we had like no traps i said that in the video and then somebody was like you said there was no traps then you opened one trap card i was like it's an exaggeration not every card and i don't mean literally no traps but basically no traps that's a good one. Speaking of traps, reverse trap. What does this even do? All effects that add or subtract tag and defense are reverse. That's kind of crazy. Pot of greed. And by the way, we're not doing a limited format, so we can use three pot of greed, which is probably going to happen. It seems like that's a rare though. So that actually might be really lucky to get that. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. We already have a better deck than last time. This is insane. Stronghold the Moving Fortress, special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster. He has 4k defense, that's not bad. So I'm going to put these three in the definitely considering, and then Stronghold maybe, probably not Reverse Trap. But if there are a bunch of like attack and defense boosters, then I might actually do that. So we'll have to see what happens. Okay, Shattered Axe, activate this card by targeting one face-up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack. Okay, that's kind of bad, but maybe. Gilosaurus is a special summon. Aaron I Parshath, probably making the deck. Kaiku definitely making the deck. This is going to be like a go literally a goat format deck is what we're about to have. Solar Wind Jammer, 2400 defense, one tribute. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If you control no monsters, special summon this card from your hand. Become halved. Oh, he's terrible. <laughs> he's terrible. I thought for a second, I was like, wait a second. This guy's cracked. Once again, I have been challenged by the one, the only Ruxin to a draft duel. We're going to open up a bunch of these, War of the Giants, and then duel. This might be fun because I think this is like a variety of different timelines of I think this came up when did this come out oh, wow editor you threw up the, the the release date that's crazy i have no idea what that says because i'm watching this from the past we're gonna open these i'm gonna actually uh just grab all these out right now so i don't have to open them between and then we'll hop in and here we are so the rules are simple everything we pull is playable which is gonna be chaotic because i know there's graceful charity inside this so if whoever pulls three graceful charities i feel like we'll just win the duel i'm gonna tell you right now so these oh this is backwards okay so there are mosaic rares in here. I don't know if it's one per pack or one per every couple packs. We'll figure it out. Urban Dress. We have a Rising Energy. That's the mosaic rare. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Shiryu. We have Copycat, which I'll actually play in Amarelise. Amarelise. I can't speak. So I think what I'll just do is, is I'll go through the cards first, and then we'll do the actual deck profile in the end. It's kind of weird that these are all like back facing instead of the other way around. We have Breakthrough Skill. I got Half Shut as the mosaic rare. We got Dark Valkyria, and then we got Axe Dragon Nuts, and an Autonomous Action Unit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go through all this afterwards because I don't want to read every single card. If I'm reading every single card and you guys watch me stutter and then you know run into my words, it won't be funny. And you'll make fun of me, and I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Impenetrable Attack. We have Enemy Controller. That's a good card. I'm gonna put that to the side. We have Spike Shield Chain. That's actually like uh, it's it's rare. I think because look, the name's like super uh like matt i guess and then we got sinister serpent and then and drillroid and we got the og sinister serpent that says during the same phase if this card is in your graveyard we can return to hand they nerfed that later and took it away this is legitimately gonna be awesome it's funny because i've had these packs for literally 
I think I got these packs like three or four, no, no, probably not four, but two or three years ago. And I've been holding them like, it would be really fun to just duel with these. And I've just been sitting on them for a long time. And I'm like, it's because the retro pack did so good. I'm like, and now's the time. So Book of Moon, definitely making it. Maybe Gilosaurus. White Knight Dragon is a good card, but the thing is, it is a two tribute. So it's kind of like, eh, maybe. Doom Caliber Knight, great card. Oh wait, there's two cards back there. Metal Reflect Slime. Defense Mission Monster as Effect Monster. Uh, special Summon in Defense. 3k defense? That seems hilarious to summon. Okay, that might be awesome. Another problem I just thought of is this is going to be a pain in Master World to get all these cards. <laughs> it is going to be an absolute pain. Some of these are actually going to be like ultra rares. No entry, change all attack position monsters to defense. That's a pretty good card. Photon Sanctuary. I remember using this in Duel Links at one point. Uh, wait, it can be a synchro? Cannot or be used as synchro. Never mind, it can't be used as synchro. Graceful Charity? Oh, Rob Style's not gonna be happy about this one. Oh my goodness. When this face up attack is changed to face up defense, destroy this card if you do draw one card. Interesting. Zephros the Elite, you can return one face up card. You control the hand, special summon this card from the graveyard. You take 400 damage. Interesting. So, so far, I opened a couple packs and I don't have that many good cards. So maybe the pull rate in these is awful and ends up being. What if I get no monsters? I got a couple, but what if I am so limited with what I can actually play here? Draining Shield. Ha! Oh! All right. We got the one, the only, Slife of the Sky Dragon, my favorite of the God cards. That's absolutely going to get played. Put that to the side over here. We have Cyber Valley, Exarion's Universe. That's getting played. Okay, so, okay, never mind. I, I am no longer worried. If I can get a couple Exarion Universes, I feel like that's going to be great because that card by itself is going to just clutch. And you get Piercing Damage. Are you kidding me? Overworked, we have Card Trader, that's a great card too. We have Brain uh, Crusher, we have Herald of Creation, and Battle Fader, also a fantastic card that's gonna go into the deck. That's gonna protect me from, you know, dying. All right, mid video, we noticed that the, the Pequeno Moth fell off, so we're gonna have to figure that out. That didn't stay up very well. Okay, uh, Rip Pequeno Moth, he had a good run. Let's keep it going and see what else we can pull, because so far we have some pretty amazing cards. I mean, a Graceful Charity and a Pot of Greed. We're already off to a good wheeled goat uh, strategy. And by strategy, I mean just the best possible cards. Okay, Photon or Power Frame. Mahavilo, little little battle pack action. There we go, DD Assailant's definitely making it. Goblin Attack Force and Mausoleum. If we do want to do White Knight Dragon, that could be in there. Okay, next pack, War of the Giants. We have not pulled a God card yet, though, unfortunately. That'd be pretty crazy. Zero Gravity, that would be really funny to play. Dark Lord Desire, uh, Tribute Summoning, one Fairy-type monster. Okay. We have Dark Lord Zerato. I'm gonna have to read through some of these bigger guys. Zubaba Knight, start the damage to this card, attacks face up defense vision monster, destroy that monster, that's pretty good. And then uh, Twin Head Behemoth, the once per duel effect. We have uh, Miracle Locus, we have Half Shot again, we're getting some dupes now. We got Truckroid, that bro is ready to throw hands with you. We got some Beard of the Dark, that's a great card. And a Mecha Fam Phantom Beast Hamstring. Yeah, I know it says Hamstrap, but we're gonna call it Hamstring, it just sounds better. So not bad so far, I, I definitely see a lot of fodder. We're not even halfway through yet. We have a chance of getting more good stuff. Nightmare Steel Cage, great card. Curse of Armaments. Truck Road, ready to throw hands again. We got Samurai of the Ice Barrier and Space Gate. It's funny that uh, an Ice Barrier card popped up in here because Ice Barrier is actually kind of playable right now. Kind of. I say that kind of loosely, too. All right. Can we pull more insane cards? So far, it's been pretty good. Ryoku, that's a pretty fun uh, sealed card. That could be pretty crazy. The Gagaga Garden. Uh, when opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you special summon this card from your hand. When this card's target from an attack, you can discard one card. The card cannot be destroyed by battle. 2K defense, pretty good. Does it say special summon in defense? Oh, okay, okay. DD Assailant's good. Luster Dragon's good. This is a great pack. Battle, fa battle Fader, we might use all of those. That's insane. Labyrinth of Nightmare, the card. Once per turn, each player change the battle position, all face of monsters. That's a little weird. Samurai is okay. Slate Warrior is fantastic. Rux is special. Mahavilo and the Hamstrat. Zero gravity. It's like stumbling, but it only happens once. Full force strike. Okay, no, uh, no graceful charity yet. Makes me nervous because if if Ruxin starts getting multiple graceful charities against me, I'm calling the cops. I'm just I'm gonna be real with it. I'm just calling the cops. It's not fair at that point. Big bang shot. Car trooper, great card actually. Uh, Megalodon, Botanical Lion, and uh, a Nordic Beast. Okay, well, now I'm not as worried. I was worried that I was going to be pulling Graceful Charity left and right. Probably should be the least of my worry. You know what I want to see, though? Exari Universe, Zambira the Dark, at least two more times each. Drillroid, 
got Power Duality. You got Death Mosquito and Scapegoat, another classic that I feel like will be useful. I don't know, die. Except for Scapegoat, I feel like it will be awful because if he does have Exarion Universe, that's just free damage because piercing. So I gotta be careful. I might not play that because of that. Shield and Sword. We have Exodius, the ultimate Forbidden Lord. Actually, doesn't do anything here. We got Phantom Dragon. We have Hyper Hammerhead. And the Tricky, actually also a fantastic card. Just summon this, uh, yeah, but just discarding a card. I'm absolutely playing that, are you kidding me? I gotta go minus, but like in this format, I think I think it'll be fine, I wanna say. All right, we have uh, Minturize. Oops, no entry. I think, uh, no, 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 I was like, is this banned? It's not banned, I was, I was thinking of something else. We got Jurak Titano, we got Sunfish, and Photon Thrasher. Bro, I'm gonna be so mad if Ruxin does end up having a million Gracefuls and Pot of Greeds and I have nothing. You just feel so powerless watching your opponent play draw cards like that. Toon Gemini Elf is a fantastic card. I can summon this without uh, Toon World. Chaos Hunter. I don't know if that's gonna be useful in this format. Doom Caliber Knight is what I wanted. I actually have my envelope from Worlds next to me over here. And I got the QCR version of this. This card is fantastic because it's a 1900 attack beat stick for level four and it's a monster negate. Are you kidding me? Let me get more of these. Yo, in the perfect world, I'll pull two more Doom Caliber Knights and two more Exarion Universes. Uh, Zambira, I don't really care about, but if I pull it, it's great. Fighting Spirit. Yeah, Bazoo, Bazoo is great, because uh, the damage can go up. Truck Road again, Violon Stella, and then Power Giant, okay. So far, the monsters, they're, they're pretty abundant. We have a bunch of pretty good options for monsters. We have Evil Hero Malicious Edge. It's a 2600 two tribute, okay. The Golden Apples, I haven't seen this card since Duel Links. That has been a while. That's an interesting card. Needle Sunfish, same thing with that one, in Embodiment of Apophis. A lot of trap monsters in this. Kind of weird. Okay, that was an interesting pack. Definitely some playable cards, though. Curse of Anubis, another decent card. Okay, we'll take that. Half Shut, this is a Gladiator Beast card for sure. I haven't pulled a Gladiator Beast, though, so I don't know about that. Memory of an Adversary. Declares an attack. You can take damage equal to the attacking monster's attack. Banish that monster. Not bad, either. Monster Dragon and Vylon Tetra. I'm going to have to read some of these cards afterwards that I have not, that I'm not super familiar with. Excuse me. Forbidden Chalice actually might be useful. Do we get a card? We got Needle Sunfish. We got Memory of Adversary. <laughs> Dude, Gemini. I'm dying. I'm dying. Don't mind me. And then we got Gyroid. So I, I see the vision. I see the vision. I, my goal is going to be to summon Slifer, to be honest. That's definitely what I want to get out there. Draining Shield. Oh, oh, do you need more cards? I'm going to put this in my actual goat deck. Are you kidding me? All right, now I feel good. And then we also got Myth Mythical Beast Service. And then we got uh, Mr. God now over here. Miniaturize. Okay. Activates by targeting face of monsters more than 1,000 original attack. That that has a level. It loses 1,000 attack. Hmm. That's not bad. Has a battle trap. Shattered axe. Not bad. Boats on Wyvern. Normal flip summon. Destroy all set. Monsters your opponent controls. Okay. Steamroid. Doesn't this guy? Yeah, he gains 500 attack during the battle phase. Isn't bad. Hero emerges. Not horrible either. We might consider that. This is definitely going to be an interesting duel. I think this should be a pretty fun one. Okay, Nightmare Steel Cage. This card remains on the field for two of your opponent's turns. Um, interesting. It's no monsters can attack. It's kind of like swords, but worse. Cyber Dragon. That's that's good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Spike Shield with Chain. This is the hilarious card you use with uh, what's that guy's name? Is that Slate Warrior? Cy Cipher Soldier. I think is that one of the names. I think it has two names. Cerberus and Gagaga -ga -ga Garden, another pretty decent card. Half Shut, pretty decent. Fiend Mega Cyber. Okay, it's like a worse Cyber Dragon. Beast King Barbaros, can be normal summon, but it becomes 1900. I like that because 1900 is pretty strong. Uh, Toon Gemini Elf and Solar Wind Jammer. That's a really bad card. Okay, last pack for this blister. Honestly, I feel like we're going to have a really good deck. Power Frame, I love the. I was about to say this. I'd love to pull another pot of greed. Two pot of greed in one deck. You don't see that very often. You gotta have special rules for that. Bazoo the Soul Eater, great card. And Stronghold. Okay, we have, we're pulling some good stuff. We are pulling some good stuff. Two pot of greed, one graceful charity. We might have too much draw power. Like, <laughs> is that possible? Is it possible we might deck ourselves out? Okay, couple more packs. Fighting Spirit. Quit monster gains 300 for each monster your opponent controls. If you destroy by battle, you can destroy this card instead. That's not bad either. Axe Dragonoot at the end of the damage to change its defense. That's, oh, it's a four, 
Four star 2K. Okay, that's pretty good. I thought he was something else. Reckless Greed, that's maybe good. We have a lot of draw power already. Probably don't need it. And Time Machine. Okay, seven more packs. Seven more. Oh, Curse of Anubis. I'll take as many of those as we can get. Star Blast. Replay. Pay any number of life points in multiples of 500. Reduce the level of one monster you control. Okay, I feel like that doesn't matter if we don't really have any sort of thing to use that with. Magician of Faith, probably going to be used with all of our good spells. Gene Warp Warwolf, 4K or 2K, 4 star. I'll take that. Treeborn Frog, that might be used as well. I'm, I'm a god, nah. Can I get another Graceful, though? Not nah, being greedy. Not a greed. That's a great card, though. That's a fantastic card. Let this out right away. We're not going to play that. We're not going to play that. We're not going to play that. I'm not worried now. I am not worried now. I see I see a lot of options here. I see the vision. Wabaku. Got Ape Fighter. 1900 attack. Beat Stick. We'll take that. Jurak Titano. Chiron. Yo. Yo. And Hero Emerges is a fun card too. Hold on. We we got we got some some. We got a little some some. We got Prideful Roar. We got the Ice Berry card again. Uh, Manticore. Doom Calibre Knight. Let's go. And Bacon Saver, which I feel like is not that good in this format because right is this is this the one where you you end a battle phase during either player's battle step while an attack is occurring you can banish this card and negate the attack i might actually play that just for the negate it's kind of useful um i have two packs left draining shield we got alexandra dra 2000 attack beat stick yo that's fire we got joanne and autonomous action unit we got one more well two more chances technically to pull the draw cards graceful power giant I think you can get them in any rarity, right? Doesn't necessarily. No, I think uh, it can either be rare or like mosaic rare. So I think the rare is after like the mosaic rare spot. All right, final pack. Here we go. Drum rolls. Three, two, one. I will take that. It's a great card. And another premature. Ooh! Oh, oh, Ruxin. I'm sorry, bro. All right, I'm gonna go build a deck now. Looking like we might have a very good, just like beat down deck so far. I'll have to read some other cards, see if there's anything I missed. Earthquake, face up monster on the field to defense position. That could be useful. Autonomous action unit also could be useful. Cyber Valley, maybe? Flame Tiger, 1800 four star, pretty bad in this because there are a lot of really good four stars. I feel like that, but I think he can come back from the grave maybe if he's like a fire. Something about fire monsters with that one. Big Bang Shot, maybe 2,300 Goblin Attack Force. Cra this is a tuner. Where are all the Synchros then? Are there Synchros in this? Torbos from the Underworld and Tiki Soul. I'm going to have to go through and find out because we haven't pulled any Synchros, but we have a t we have a couple things that like reference levels and tuners. So I'm not sure. We haven't gotten a God card yet either. So, man, I hope it <laughs> oh, Prime doesn't end up with a bunch of God or a bunch of Synchros or and Xyz and stuff. Saturdax. That's not bad. Splendid Venus, Zubaba Knight, and Tiki Salt. So many trap monsters. That's interesting. All right. Battle Pack, War of the Giants. Three packs left. Enemy Controller. Let's go. That's pretty good. We have Nimble or Needle Sunfish, Megalodon, the Goblin Elite Attack Force, and Photon Thrasher. This can be special summon, right? Control no monsters. He's another Cyber Dragon. I will take that. Not bad. Two packs left. This is probably going to be a somewhat of a long video. So hopefully you guys like long videos. This has been this has been fun to open so far. I've been waiting to open these for a while. So hopefully this deck will turn out pretty good. Let's see. We have Rocket Pilder. Uh, Gyroid. Once return, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. I, I guess. Uh, Bull Blader. Tardy Orc. Get on time and cloning. And then one final pack for the opening. And then we get into the deck build. Forbidden Lance. That's a good card. Okay. Forbidden Lance, Luster Dragon, Shard of Greed. It's Bad Pot of Greed. We have two of those, so we don't need we don't need Bad Pot of Greed. Death's Mosquito, Shield Warrior. And that's it. That's all of our cards. So I feel like we have a chance to make a really good deck here. I'm going to get back to you guys with the deck profile, and then we will get to the duels. All right. And this is the deck that we went with. So we got two copies of Alexandra Dragon. Uh, Battle Fader, just in case we need it. But most of these are going to be like 1800 and 1900 type beat sticks to do different things. I get to draw with Toon Gemini Elf. Exarion causes piercing damage. Chiron will pop back row. Hyper Hammerhead, I feel like I don't really need, but uh, I can use to attack a defense position monster and return to hand. DD Salem for banishes. I got 1900 attack for these for, uh, for beatdowns and also for monster negate. It's pretty self-explanatory. The goal will be to summon Slifer, of course. He's the goat. He's the god of the deck. And then I went with half spells and traps. That way I have a better chance to have a variety in my hand. At first, I thought it was going to be all monsters when I made this deck. We got Graceful, Nightmare Steel Cage, 
this actually isn't as bad in here. Uh, not being a special summon kind of matters in normal Yu-Gi-Oh, but in here we're normally we're mostly gonna be normal summoning anyway, so that's gonna help. I decided to only do one premature burial instead of two, even though I pulled two. Just because I feel like I won't be summoning from the graveyard as much, so it's not as important. Big bang shot for potential scapegoat plays or anything in defense mode. And yeah, and also I have some cards just kind of out his monsters. And then uh, a couple of bait cards like draining shields I can gain life points. Prideful roar to kind of like win the battles. So it's going to be as classic Yu-Gi-Oh as it gets here. So hopefully uh, this is enough to beat the one you only unbeatable. All right. I have come up with a 40 card deck. This was actually tough because there was actually a lot of really good cards. I cut a lot of cards that I actually liked. So this is what we ended up with. We have Beast King Barbaros, which is a 3K two tribute, but he can be normal summon as a 1900. So a little bit of utility there. We have a Goblin Attack Force because you never know in this format, it feels like there's going to be a lot of uh, just attacking over people. So having a 2300 guy as an option is good. Same thing with Tardy Orc. He has summoning sickness, so you summon him, he can't attack. But once he's like after that first turn, he's a 2200 beater. So he's pretty good. Cyber Dragon, special summons are pretty uh, hard to come by in this format. Axe Dragonute uh, switches to defense, but we have a lot of traps that switch where well, we have a couple traps that switch you back to attack so that could that could work out uh gene warp war wolf generic 2k slate warrior because he can become 2400 doom cow because it negates which is pretty good potentially steamroid he can get up to 23 when he attacks sasuke if he has a big like defense monster like metal reflect slime or something like that this will automatically destroy it 2dd assailant to get rid of pesky monsters bull blader same thing if it attacks is if it's involved in the battle it'll destroy automatically any monster uh bazooking it up to 25 we have a zubaba knight kind of does the same thing as uh sasuke but there's only one of those two gaga garden up because he gets 2k defense and he's special summon from the hand so he could be useful just to stall a little bit then we have the twin-headed behemoth because he's also a special summon magician of faith for all of our nice spell cards cyber valley because it's another draw power and it negates a battle phase two bot agreed you know we're going to do that graceful charity enemy controller because it has a lot of utility whether it's stealing your opponent's monsters which is in the defense whatever uh book of moon very good card forbidden lance because you can use it to decrease their attack you can use it for your monster so it doesn't get destroyed by a card effect a lot of good things half shut similar because it can half either monster depending on what you need autonomous action unit can steal one of their monsters put it on your side of the field ryoku if we need to get rid of something big or just to go for game this thing can do a lot of damage not a very good card but when it works it's hilarious time machine brings back a monster not a lot doing that in this or at least that we pulled power frame can make a huge monster so that could be interesting zero gravity this is the thing i was talking about switches all battle positions of every monster on the field so if we have a guy switch to defense like goblin attack force or that other dude we can switch them back or we can use it when they're attacking us etc curse of anubis i only use one of these out of two because and normals are not affected so it's kind of like eh, and i wanted to fit one more card uh no entry switches them to defense miniature eyes kind of a battle trap uh spike shield with chain could be useful whether our guys in defense or attack just to have a small battle trap 2k defender metal reflect slime gonna be annoying to get through if you don't have the right card and then memory of an adversary because we take an attack we banish it then we steal the monster could be really hilarious if we pull it off so overall a lot of really good cards compared to that retro pack video and i feel like our deck's gonna be pretty strong We'll have to see what he pulled. All right, after looking at the deck a few times, I decided that these two cards, the Twin of Behemoth and the Zubaba, if this is such a beatdown format like I think it's going to be, I don't think they're going to be that good. So I'll replace them with two more traps, the second Curse of Anubis and a Cloning, because Cloning will just duplicate their guy. I feel like that'll be a little bit better for what we have. So we now have 12 traps, 18 monsters, 10 spell cards. So I feel like that's going to be fine. We'll have to see. Let's get to the duels. All right, Ryan, we are back with another uh, open packs and duel like we did with Retro Pack 1, which ended pretty epically. How were your pulls this time? I would say quite godly, if you understand. Yeah, this pack was certainly better in terms of like playable cards. <laughs> There's a lot of playable cards in here. Like almost every card was somewhat playable. Yeah, it's actually kind of scary because some cards were so playable. I'm like, do I even really want to run three of these? <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way. I was like going back and forth, like trying to figure out what the meta is going to be for this like sealed opening. So really, we just need to hop into it, figure out what's going on. So yeah. I'm going to start the duel. And we're still going to take the card, you know, like normal. So I hope I get first. <laughs> hey, nice rank. Oh, yeah. Do soon it's going to be insane. Just keep. Oh, come on. I lost I'm, the coin flip. I mean, too. I'm, 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 it's, it's up to fate. In, when the countdown chooses. Okay, you're letting Ooh, it up to fate. I, I get to that. go first. Dang it. Okay. All right. All right. This is not a good start. I wonder if going first actually is. Well, no, because we're still technically playing old Yu-Gi-Oh in this. Yeah, a lot of this is old Yu-Gi-Oh, so it should should be pretty normal. I would okay. Say oh yeah, you're screwed. That's yep, you're a screwed. Pretty good opening hand. Yeah, you're you're in big trouble. That's all I gotta say. <gasps> really? You think yep. so? 
Uh-huh. What if I summon Doom Caliber Knight and then set oh, a card? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> it's okay, Doom we're... Caliber Knight, the brand new WCS card. The brand new. Oh, okay. Doom what Caliber Knight's cool, but I, I, I don't know if I would have done this as a WCS card. Because last year we had, like, what, uh, Dark Magician Girl and Magic Cylinder? I guess it is kind of a callback to the SJC, you know? So, in a way. Yeah, but, but still, it's just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, uh, you know. It's I, definitely like if you were in the era, it's super iconic. It's not as iconic as something like Dark Magician yeah. Girl. You weren't playing back then. Um, and the thing about this guy is he does have a negate on him, which is pretty strong for this format. Yeah. But it is automatically forced. So I have to figure out what I am going to do about this thing. You've got a back row. There are some back row in this format as well. Yeah, something like that. So I think I'm just going to do this. Ooh, okay. So we're just keeping it safe. I think yeah, I like just, it. Yeah, you know, let's just keep it safe. I'm just going to pass right. with a regular set. That, that's got to be a crazy card. Man. All right. So what if, what if I uh, equip uh, my Doom Calibur now with the Big Bang Shot? <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's wait, there's annoying. more. We also got Ixarion. Xerion. You got an Ixarion. So, you got double first. piercing. Oh, goodbye! snap. Goodbye, negates, so you don't get banished, I guess. I should have done the other way around. Yep, okay, we take right, that. Well, we take that. I can attack, I guess. We'll just, do this. just do one of these. No, you're you're doing the a lead. lot of damage. We take the lead, yeah. There's a lot of beat down cards in this, so. I set a card and pass. I don't like how many back row you have. <laughs> this is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I, I think I balanced the deck pretty well in regards to back row and my monsters. Okay, okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try out my Beast Warrior. The Gene Warped Warwolf. Do you wow. have a response? He's pretty big. A generic just monster like that? Yeah, but he's 2K though. You got anything? Uh, yeah, Draining Shield. <laughs> okay, all right, you get some life points. At least I'm still alive, so that's that's not the worst. But, but are you alive though? <laughs> that's a good question. I'm gonna set one. Holy setting, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna set two actually. You're, you're kind of gonna notice a theme here in a second uh, of how my deck is built. So far, it's been big guys. So I don't know if I want to do this. Would this be smart? I'm trying to figure out. Um, Tribute summon four. Maybe I shouldn't yet. There are so many cards in this set. You, we could have completely different decks. That's the thing. You know what? I'm just gonna summon this. Axe Dragonut. Oh, the big guy. Okay, Axe Dragonut. And then I'm going to attack this. But why am I doing uh, this? I don't know. You have a quick play? I activate Forbidden Chalice. And no! I'm going to strengthen myself. Is no, that okay with you? By 400. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fortunately for me, I have Spike Seal of a Chain. So no big deal. Power this? up by 500 attack. Well, at least it's out of the way now. <gasps> my card. Goodbye. I'm, so I'm not going to attack you, but I am going to set a card. Okay. Oh, uh, man. I was hoping you had nothing else. I was hoping it was all monsters. I forgot that this is permanent. Oh, it's permanent. He's a big guy. Oh, that's actually bad. Yeah, he's bad. He, he's a massive guy. Um, Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I liked your card earlier. I want to try it out. Doom Caliber Knight? Doom Caliber Knight. Here we go. Are you sure you want to attack, though? I'm sure. I'm 100% sure. Hold on, but sure. do, you know, do you know how math works? Uh, maybe. What's your attack? 2,500. What's my attack? 2,000. It's higher than yours, actually. Prideful Roar! Oh, your uh, monster is dead now. Uh, yeah. That. So, what I would have done in that situation is I would have not attacked the stronger monster on the field. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, right. If, if I attack the guy that has more attack than me, I die. Yeah, exactly. Man, I wish I had thought about that. Okay, well. Well, at least you can learn in the middle of this, like, great duel, you know? Thank thank you for teaching me. I'm going to keep that in mind for the next duel. <laughs> okay, I'll pass. <laughs> I'm going to draw the best card in my deck right now. You're going to draw a dud. You're going to draw some crappy monster. That's actually not bad. But the question is, is, do I want to risk it? Yes, I do. I'm going to tribute Axe oh! Dragon Nut for <gasps> Shiryu. What? I got to read this thing. Tribute someone... If this summon, you get, you take, during each phase, you take a thousand damage. This card attacks, okay, it has piercing. So you take damage, but it has piercing, okay. Uh, it, it's kind of risky to do this right now because I'm now on a clock, but I think I can kill you before I end up burning myself. The key word to that sentence was think. 
<laughs> Flip him down, 1800 defense. You're in my nightmare steel cage now, Ruxton. No! Oh, frick! <laughs> that is so bad. Oh, I can't attack for two turns? Yeah, it's just two turns. Oh, you know, it's no. The, it's the other card uh, that we saw in WCS, just a, the lighter version of it. Instead of swords, we got oh. the nightmare steel cage. Oh, my goodness. That is a perfect time to get that card. All right, we're just going to... I'm just gonna chill a little bit. You do piercing damage. I don't know why I went to defense. I was in defense mode. I feel like it would be better to. Oh, keep you can't attack anyway. Yeah, no monsters can attack, so no big deal. I'm not worried. We're setting cards. Setting cards. That's a fantastic card, in my opinion. I guess I'm gonna flip this. Yeah, burn, burn, baby. And I know it's gonna be questionable. It's like, why is it doing this? It's because I know there's a lot of 1900 attack beat sticks. I didn't burn. Wait, what? Is it because I flip summoned it? Did you take <gasps> away my? So I no! thought that I thought that would happen that way, but I'm like, surely that's not gonna work that way. That's so annoying. Is this a situation because it says if summoned this way, not when this when summoned this way? I think so. It's about the text, Dude, and because I, I flipped you I down. I thought about it. I thought I was like, are, is it gonna resolve like this? That sucks so much. Well, I'm putting you back in attack because, yeah. Okay. Um. Me, 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 me. Wait. Does this go away on your turn or my turn? How does this nightmare steel cage work? No. Oh crap! You, can you are not now. safe anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that's a great card. The question is, you know what? I think we got we got to get rid of Doom Caliber Knight first because this is a liability. Okay. That's fine. I will say this. I didn't realize it's a mandatory effect, so that is kind it of. It is a mandatory, deal. so you can manipulate it, which yeah. kind of sucks. Because when I read that, I was like, for for old Yu-Gi-Oh, this seems kind of broken. 1900 attack, and it's a it's a negate. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty strong. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, before you do piercing damage, I'm gonna flip up my Slate Warrior. He's gonna be big. He's gonna be awesome. That is pretty big. I didn't even know Slate Warrior was in the set. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in this set. I bet you have like, I didn't see this Pyrotech card that you have. Um. Okay, we can attack now, so it's time to get rid of this guy. Ooh, what are we doing? That. Doesn't seem very fun to me. Enjoy my bull blader. Do you have an answer? I actually do have an answer. Oh, so it activates already? <laughs> yes. You might not be able to stop it now. I mean, I'm gonna put it in defense mode, but does, does that mean does it still activate? I think I think so. I'm not sure actually. It activated, but does it have to resolve? That's what I want to know. Because neither just, player. No, during the battle. During this battle, there's no battle. There's yeah, no battle. I, I think that'll stop it. Yeah. No, I was my like, bull did blader. I, did I did I screw up? Okay, all right. You're lucky that time. You're lucky that time. Here's My bull blader could not pull off his amazing attack. All right, so this is regard. This is just a free, like, kill. Oh, I drew the best card in my deck. No, you did not. Graceful charity. No, the best card in your deck. Okay, at least you only get to keep one. They're all they're all bad, so you're only gonna keep one. Is it oh, bad? DD assailant. Okay, you got your own draining shield. I didn't get any draining shield, so. Is it bad? Premature burial, young Ruxin. No. And we are going to you... get DD assailant back in the field that I just, no. I just discarded. That's here's a the big thing. Card. I, that bull blader's gotta go. That bull blader does gotta go. It's gotta go. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh wait, I can activate his effect. Yeah, well, it's 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 going to still destroy both cards. That's kind of dope. Here's the thing, though. I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of this little card from Ancient Sanctuary, Ultra Rare. Curse of Anubis. Send your monsters to defense mode. Wow. Technically my monsters too, but. Wow, okay, all right, okay, cool. I, I, I get it, I guess, I guess. All right, you better hope that back row is something good or you're oh, in no, it, trouble No, it's here. great, my back row is fantastic. Oh, and speaking of the best card in my deck. <laughs> oh no, you draw too. How about Poggers of Greed? Oh, just that. Oh, okay. Those are pretty good cards. You know what else I like? Poggers of Greed. <laughs> oh my god, the additional faith in this too. I'm playing GOAT format. My dream draft in this? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Let me, let me just see first. Let me, let me just see if what I said was going to happen, happened. Poggers of I Greed. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Enjoy three pot of green on one turn. Oh my god! And my pyrotech okay. mech is going to die. Here's the problem. Yeah. I don't know if Mirror Force is in here, but uh, I guess we're gonna find out. The only one way to find out, Young Ruxin. You know, I'm not overcommitting. Let's just let's just go in. Let's. Uh, what do you mean? You're already attacked. Well, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's bolt. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I have to. Let him go, baby. Bull blader, bull blader coming in. Is kind of 
crazy. The sad part is I got to get rid of my slate warrior. I probably should have just whatever. We'll just this is fine. Oh, what do you mean? Let me get those light points. Oh, draining shield. Oh, that hurts. OK, that's fine. It's fine. Let me get those life points. Dude, you have 10,800 life points. <laughs> I have three pot of greed. You have 10,800 life points. This is quite the deal. In my draft, I was saying how badly I wanted to just get a bunch of graceful charities and pot of greeds. I, none of that happened. God. <laughs> well, you got a graceful charity. I got so a graceful good. charity, yeah. But I, I, uh, at the end of my draft, I'm like, there's no way that he didn't get a bunch. <laughs> uh, I didn't see any heavy storm, so I just hope that it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's probably in here somewhere. Oh, my God. A double pot of greed res resolution is crazy. Triple. <laughs> Curse of the armaments. Okay, what the heck gonna, is this? I'm gonna put it on this. For each monster you control, when this card is sent, you can target one face up monster. Okay, all right, that sucks. I'm gonna go into attack mode now. Are you trying to attack my bulb later? Uh, potentially. potentially. Uh, if I get rid of that, you have no cards left. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll let it go. Unfortunately, that guy is kind of a stud. No. Yes, he's in my graveyard. He's and I alive. Pass. And I pass again. Okay, you've you've reduced my slit. Wait, why is he not lowered anymore? Oh yeah, because I got rid of your monster. Yeah, okay, it's a furry monster I control. That's sick. But okay, did well, did you read the did you read the second part of Curse of Armaments? You can target equip it to this. It's okay, gonna I'm not keep sending coming, that thing. It's gonna keep coming back. Nope, nope, not doing that. Okay, now I activate my most important card. Actually, I need to think about this <laughs> if I do this. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe not. Okay, wait, wait, one sec. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Oh, brother, he has to read. No, I'm good, actually. But based on an earlier interaction, I think that this works like this. I activate my autonomous action unit, targeting your pyrotech mech. Wow. And because it was not summoned this way, I will not take a thousand damage per turn. Wow. Okay, so now I have 49. 73, 76 damage on the field. You know what? Let's just get all this damage in. Gaga ga, oh, ga, ga My God. Let's put in over 9,000 damage. It's over 9,000, Rhyme Style. Oh, my goodness. We now, are putting in so much damage. Now I right suddenly now. wish I would have saved my Nightmare Steel Cage. <laughs> you had the Nightmare Steel Cage. What can I draw here to get out of the situation? Hopefully nothing with 3k attack that I can attack over my Magician of Faith. 24 okay. cards. 1 in 24 cards. Harder the cards. I need you right now. Guide me! No snatch deals. Good allowed. Old. That... Does help. It does help. It yeah, helps me greatly, cards. actually. Setting cards. I don't like that. I don't like setting cards. Okay. You go back. All right. You have a set card. But I have 2,900 attack. Like, what could this possibly you be? You do have 2,900 attack! Ah! Get my car <laughs> back, bro! Get my car back! <laughs> 2K defense is pretty good. And lots of stuff I have. was going to be my savior. <laughs> and piercing damage. You're sure, you, you're card. my monster, bro. You're my monster. Why are you on his team? <laughs> yes, sure, you. Join the Ruxin oh team. What a, what a fantastic duel. Uh, there's a lot more good cards <laughs> than we had last time. That's oh, for yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, no, same here. <laughs> I mean, wait until you see my secret weapon. Okay, well, now that you've seen the effect of three pot of greeds in one turn, let's try game two. <laughs> I forgot that it happened. In my mind, I'm like, when did I lose that much control? <laughs> yeah, you lost a lot of card advantage on that yeah. turn. <laughs> pot of greed to pot of greed to pot of greed is crazy. Uh, yes, allow me to go first. Okay, didn't work out for you last time, so we'll see how it works this time. In uh, in my opening, I was like, oh, we're about to pull like hella graceful cherries and pot of greed. This is gonna be so chaotic. That sounds like you didn't, so that's good for me. Well, it's not pot of greed, but I do have something better. Better than Pot of Greed. Is that even possible, comments? Yes, actually. <laughs> so for starters, we're going to Graceful. See what we can uh, yeah, get out of this. That's, that's pretty good on the opening hand. All right. I think we don't need we don't need this. And honestly, I feel like I don't need this. Oh, Econ. Okay. Uh, econ. Dude, summon... you got some good spell traps. Dragon Nut and pass. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god, what is it? What do you got there? What you got there? I don't know. Let's find out what you have. Uh, the axe dragon. I guess we'll just do this. Samurai of the ice barrier. Ooh. Change the defense, destroy this card if you do draw one card. Okay. 
What does that do? Nothing. Appar oh, apparently you have to put it face up. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Misplay. All right. Whoops. Uh, yeah, just de I definitely did that on purpose. Don't worry, guys. Oh, I, I pulled this but didn't read it. I probably should have... I thought that it would like when it flipped up, I'd be able to do that, but I that's not how that works, I guess. Yeah, it's a weird damage <sighs> step ruling. So I should have another card right now. I'm a little upset. You got some big guys on the field. The question is, what's your back row? You've had some good back rows so far. I'm going to figure it out. Let's go Steamroid in attack wow. mode. Oh, it gains uh, 500 damage on a damage step only. He's large. But wait, I'm also going to counter your attack. Uh... Prideful Roar! <gasps> Oh no, oh. your monster hit itself. Oh. Oh. Robson, you ought to stop hitting yourself, bro. I should probably stop hitting myself. <laughs> stop attacking the larger monster. I thought I learned to not do that. Hey, but it okay. makes me feel better. I'm definitely not attacking an axe dragon nut. Why not? Because I don't want to go in defense mode. <laughs> feel free. Are Put him in defense, man. <laughs> yeah, we need some back row here. We're just destroying monsters left and right. right I'm just going to go into attack then. Attack. Will this go through? Uh, I'm not sure if you've read your card yet, but uh, oh. if he goes to defense mode, You're helping he's me destroyed. Out. You do get to draw a card, so it's not completely terrible. Ooh, that's a great card. Um, I'm going to go to main phase two, and I'm going to summon a Zutun Gemini Elf. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to also set a card and pass. Let's draw something good here. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. What are we talking about? I'm going to summon my Pharaoh servant, Ultra Rare. Do you have any guesses? No, actually. Goblin Attack oh, Goblin Force. Goblin Attack Force? Yes. He is too powerful. And we're not messing around with that Tomb Gemini Elf. Let's get rid of it. Ruxin, you really got to stop hitting yourself, bro. You the really got to stop hitting yourself. Shield. It's not over yet. Half shut. Oh. I will not lose my Goblin Attack Force this turn. God, it's, it's, it's so weak. But it's going to go into defense mode, so technically he becomes weak still. He becomes weak, but he stays on the field. Okay, let's set one more card. Oh, I forgot. Not wait, wait, hold up. What was the point of that? Half shot doesn't destroy me. Well, now my goblin attack force is still alive. Yeah, but it's at zero. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's all about the life points. Very important. Got to get those life points low. No more 10,800 this time. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to keep it safe then. I'm going to just summon <laughs> Doom Caliber Knight. Ooh, Doom Caliber Knight. Okay, that's annoying. You know what? Let, let's see how this resolves. I'm gonna put Big Bang oh. Shot on Tomb Gemini Elf. Oh! Oh no! Now, I might regret this. I might regret this, but I, I want to see what happens oh, here. Oh no! What do you do? Okay, okay, I gotta think about this. I think this is what we do. Oh, okay. No entry! Uh, back into attack mode though. And I guess I'll pass. We need to draw something good. That is interesting. And your goblin attack force is still stuck cowering like the cowards that they are. I have this card Goblin's again. Action unit. So bring back your own card. Kind of annoying. And take out this Gemini elf. <gasps> no, leave them. Destroy them. <laughs> I didn't read the card. What card? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I didn't know. I, I, that's worse for me, too. <laughs> Okay, wait, that's not the worst. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh my gosh! Doom Goblin Knight works for me too! When a monster effect is activated, that's so bad! Oh my goodness, oh, I didn't read the card! That hurts so oh, bad! My. That was such a big brain play by me, 100% on purpose. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, so what effect activated? Fixed battle damage, discard. What card did you discard? Huh? Did I? I discarded a card because of Gemini? I have no idea what you discarded. No, I negated it. I negated it. Oh, yeah. It didn't even discard because you're Tomb Caliber then negated. <laughs> oh, wait. That's, uh, it's mandatory anyways. If discard inflicts battle damage, discard one random card. I couldn't even stop that. Dude, that was actually, oh look, God. that was a big brain play. That's all I got to say. It was a great play by me. Great play by me. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just I, how I drew it up. I can't say that I'm happy about that play. I took freaking 1800 <laughs> attacking that thing. I forgot about the dual links combo, which is spike shield with chain on the cypher soldier in defense mode. Exarion oh, universe. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're back at it. Um, and then fighting spirit equipped to axe dragon nuts. Uh, so when can you destroy my battle? 
destroy this card instead. Okay. It's going to go into defense mode next turn. Oh, frick, All it's right. 2600. I think we attack uh, the Ice Barrier first. Oh, frick. Half shut. We're going to keep him alive. Fair. <gasps> defense mode. And then we attack defense half mode. shut. And I am going to activate piercing. You feel free to activate that piercing because I'm going to activate my secret weapon. Memory of an adversary. What does that do? I'm not reading all that. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to take the damage. Your guy gets banished. And then in a turn, I get him. So I get you your get my card? Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, Goblin <sighs> Attack Force is still alive and can go back to attack mode. Oh, my so best card in the deck. Let's go. Okay, first, let's do this. Get you in attack mode. Okay, you've got two cards. How long is it one turn that I get the memory of an adversary? During the end phase of your opponent's next turn. Okay, nice. All right, I'm low on life points. I, you've got your guy in defense mode, but it says, if this card is destroyed without any destroy this card, so I gotta destroy him twice. Yes. Or I can just use Bull Blader, which it completely oh bypasses that. Oh my <laughs> God, how do you do this? You're drawing like Dion right now. Bull Blader, destroy Axe Dragonude with your effect. Oh. It bypasses. Oh, it doesn't bypass. It does not. But then that activates. Oh, it does bypass. Okay, yeah, okay. So it does it afterwards. Okay. Okay, the question is, do I attack with Goblin Attack Force? Let's see. You're at 40. That puts you pretty low. You're at 2250 if I do that. And then you won't be... You'll have to pick between Goblin Attack Force and Bull Blader. It's a tough choice. So, yeah, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do the damage. Okay, it's fair. I respect it. All right, main two. We'll go to defense. We're going to get your Xerion soon as well. <laughs> And Bull Blader has his own effect. If you attack him, he still gets to activate it. Oh, God, Bull Blader's so good. Um, okay. okay. I guess the first thing I'll do is just stay alive. We are going to take out his Goblin Attack Force. Yeah, that, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. It makes sense. You didn't want to bounce and it back to my hand. I can't. It's, uh, it doesn't yeah, it has it not be destroyed, right? Oh, I would like to activate Memory of an Adversary. Oh my god, why did you get my card? That's so mean, bro. This is the second game in a row. I've Actually, I've stolen your card twice in this game. Two of these three cards are yours. Oh, this is evil. Okay, so opponent's monster that battle this card is not destroyed. So, if, okay. Okay, so I have to attack with Bull Blader. But you do have a face down. Let's see what it is. I'll activate the effect. What sucks is Bull Blader is still an out here. Yes, he plays the rap shot. He's insane. Bull Blader is actually nuts. And then that goes. It doesn't go in your hand still. Bull Blader. <laughs> He's unreal. He's insane. Dino, prepare to die by your card's own hand for the second straight game. For the second time, man. My it's monsters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my god, what a great duel. Dude, memory of an adversary, I was just like waiting. I was like, the perfect time to, to use this thing. This thing's gonna be insane. You know what was in my hand that was gonna come out the next turn if I didn't out my own field? What? What card requires three tributes? You have a god card? I have Slifer the Sky Dragon in my hand. Oh my god. And he was gonna come out next Zero turn if Doom Caliber and I didn't out myself. How many cards would you have had in your hand? Uh, at the time, three. But, so it, uh, 3K? But, but I also had like half shut and stuff. So like if you would have attacked it, it was still yeah. alive. But at the same time, I think I no, but I still I think I would still lose to Bull Blader. Yeah, because Bull Blader could just out it. Bull Blader. Well, no, no, I no, no, because you didn't have it in the field yet. Bull Blader would have summoned and then gotten destroyed. Oh yeah, because the summon effect. Yeah, yeah. he would have just been or, dead. Or if I attacked it face down, will Bull Blader still activate? It would. It's a good it? question. I mean, I'm the wrong person to ask because I set Cyber Valley, which I'm gonna get roasted. For. <laughs> <laughs> Either so, way, yeah. that was. Those are some fantastic duels. Uh, when's the next one? When's the next one? Look, there's another one coming up. We are going to be doing a special one for 250,000 subscribers coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys didn't see the last one, we did Retro Pack 1. It was insane. This one was way better duel-wise, but the Retro Pack opening was pretty amazing. So they're both pretty awesome. So go check out Rhyme Style if you guys haven't already. And we're, you're going to be seeing more of this coming up soon. You got anything else to say? You got anything else to say, Rhyme Style? Yeah, you got a better sense than that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Moosey, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.